and passion for cooking becomes an art form. Subscribe to Cooking and Travel by Dr. Papuri Burwa. Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. I would like to introduce before you for the first time ever Maggie Gold Coin. It's a unique recipe and very different and all the kids will love it. So let's try out Maggie Gold Coin. I'll need a pack of Maggie and the masala that comes with it. We will also need a big potato. I have sliced only into three uh, roundels there and I have uh, cooked it in a way so that it's just al dente that is not fully cooked but almost 70% cooked in salt and water. I will need two eggs there, three slices of cheese and three slices of bread. Only these ingredients and will make a crispy recipe, crispy breakfast or snack recipe which we call Maggie Gold Coins. So let's start cooking. First of all, I have to cook this pack of Maggi only in water till it is just done. We have to crush the Maggi in this manner so that it's very small pieces that we have and we'll also need one tablespoon of corn flour. When Maggi is cooking, I'll just take a cutter like this and cut into roundels the bread slices. If you do not have this, you can use a bowl to cut, cut it, a small bowl there. And you can always use these pieces to make breadcrumbs, fresh breadcrumbs. And see, we have the first school coin base ready. I have cut the other two also. So we have the three bases ready. Now, first of all, I need to break the eggs into a bowl. The eggs go in. Two of the eggs will break into a bowl there. It's a very quick and instant recipe. If you make the other things ingredients. I have dropped the pack of Maggi masala and then we will give it a whisk. I haven't included any extra salt. We already have a lot of salt there. Into this I will put in the Maggi. That's already cooked. So if you see it's Maggi which is not very cooked but it's cooked all it. Because we are going to anyway fry it. So this way. We are just trying to make something interesting for the kid. And I hope the kid loves it. The next thing that goes in will of course be uh, the slurry of the corn flour and the water. The next thing that goes in will be a slurry that is the water plus the corn flour. Just giving two tablespoons of water, giving it a nice mix, mix down there and this will go into the, uh, the maggie. This is only for the binding. We always want the things to bind to each other. I mean we are talking about the ingredients there. Eh? So this is the base that's forming. Now we'll take a bowl with some water. That's it. And with clean hands, you just dip it there. Take it in your hand. Then we put a slice of the cheese there. So the slice of cheese goes in and then the boiled potato that goes in. And give it a nice... Okay. Press out all the water, the thing that's there. And now we're going to dip it in the Maggi paste. Have your non-stick pan ready. A little non-stick is ready there. We'll put some mil uh, some <laughs> oil there. Okay. Get the oil heat up. Let's do the magic. Now we'll take that gold coin there. Dip it in the Maggi. Dip it in the Maggi. And then throw in. Slowly. Okay, it doesn't need to cook till the internal part, the core, because it's already actually cooked. Just need to fry it in a manner that it's crispy and the uh, the cheese melts in a way. This way we'll repeat for the others as well. But be careful, it will burn very fast. So you can make, put the flame on medium and let it cook up. Just try to. Yes, see, 
Oh, ho, that's a beautiful gold coin that's coming up. All right. We'll repeat like this with the other pan. Or you can just wet it and then first of all take out all the water. Then put the slice of the cheese slice there. Then put in the piece of the potato. Now this will go into the Maggie mixture. Similarly I put another one here. Now let it cook on slow flame. Now let's see what's happening here. Just stir once again just to look at the oozing out of the cheese. Okay. okay, kids will love it. Look at that crispiness there on the top. Okay, now let's check for this. Now if the Maggie comes out, you can always put some Maggie on the top there so that you can make it up. Sometimes it might be out. So just put some extra Maggie there. In here you have I think two more that you can make up. Alright, so that's it. Let it cook. And meanwhile, after two minutes of cooking, this is done. Oh, wow. And look at the crispiness. I myself feel like eating it. Too good. So that's my Maggie Gold Coin. Ready and yummy to be eaten and really, really enjoyed. I know every kid will love it. I hope you try this recipe of mine. Give a like and a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And happy eating.